Hi, I'm Peter J. Ray. Welcome to Adventures in History. Today's topic is Interesting Reptiles Poetic Tour. The Leatherback Sea Turtle. The Leatherback Sea Turtle, turtle is the largest of all living turtles and is the fourth heaviest reptile behind three crocodiles. It does not have a bony shell. Its carapace is covered by skin and oily flesh. A large pair of front flippers powers this turtle through the water. This creature is found all over the world, from Alaska, USA, and Norway, Europe, to South Africa, to New Zealand. Their primary food is jellyfish. Very little is known about their lifespan. Estimates range from 30 to 100 years. Males never leave the water once they enter it, unlike females which nest on land. Females lay around 110 eggs in one clutch on a beach, buried in the sand. The eggs hatch in about 60 to 70 days. After nightfall, the hatchlings dig to the surface and walk to the sea. They are migratory and cross both the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. In the Malaysian state of Terengganu, the leatherback sea turtle is the state animal. What a wonderful creature! If you love the leatherback sea turtle, it certainly is understandable. The Green Sea Turtle The Green Sea Turtle lives in tropical and subtropical seas around the world, including the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. The common name refers to the usually green fat found beneath its carapace, not to the color of its carapace, which is olive to black. Like other sea turtles, green sea turtles migrate long distances between feeding grounds and hatching beaches. Many islands worldwide are known as Turtle Island due to green sea turtles nesting on their beaches. Females cr crawl out on beaches, dig nests, and lay eggs during the night. Later, the hatchlings emerge and scramble into the water. Those that reach maturity may live to 80 years in the wild. In the Hawaiian language, this creature is called Honu, and it is known as a symbol of good luck and longevity. Green sea turtles migrate long distances between feeding sites and nesting sites. Mature turtles often return to the exact beach from which they hatched. Sea turtles are integral to the history and culture of the Cayman Islands in the Caribbean. When the islands were first discovered by Christopher Columbus in 1503, he named them Las Tortugas because of the abundance of sea turtles in the waters around the islands. The green sea turtle is a national symbol displayed as part of the coat of arms of the Cayman Islands, which also forms part of the national flag of that country. The green sea turtle has always held a special meaning for the people of Hawaii. The turtle symbolizes a navigator that can find his way home time after time. In one legend, green sea turtles were the first to give the Polynesians to, to, to guide the Polynesians to the Hawaiian Islands. Hawaiians revere this turtle on the legend of Kailua, a turtle who could take the form of a girl at will. In human form, she looked after the children playing on the Punalu'u beach. What an amazing creature! The green sea turtle is a real peach. The common snapping turtle. This large freshwater turtle lives in North America. It has a combative disposition when out of the water powerful beak-like jaws and a highly mobile snake-like head and neck. In water they are likely to flee and hide themselves underwater in sediment. In their environment they are at the top of the food chain causing them to feel little fear. The common snapping turtle is not an ideal pet. Its neck is very flexible and a wild turtle can bite its handler even if picked up by the sides of its shell. In 2006, the common snapping turtle was declared the state reptile of New York. The snapping turtle was the central feature in a famous American political cartoon in 1808, protesting President Thomas Jefferson's embargo of international trade. This creature is quite docile underwater and prefers to avoid confrontations rather than provoke them. What an amazing reptile! The common snapping turtle is a real gem! The Painted Turtle The Painted Turtle is the most widespread native turtle of North America. It lives in slow-moving fresh water. 
This turtle's hard shell protects it from most predators. This creature is active only during the day when it basks in the sun for hours on logs or rocks. During the winter, this turtle hibernates usually in the mud at the bottom of water bodies. In the traditional tales of Algonquin American Indian tribes, this colorful turtle played the part of a trickster. Four U.S. states have named the painted turtle as their official reptile. Adult painted turtles in the wild can live for more than 55 years. A cold-blooded reptile, this creature regulates its temperature through its environment, notably by basking. All ages bask for warmth, often alongside other species of turtle. Sometimes more than 50 turtles are seen on one log together. Turtles bask on a variety of objects, often logs, but have even been seen on top of common loon birds that were covering their eggs. This turtle starts its day at sunrise, emerging from the water to bask for several hours. Warmed for activity, it returns to the water to forage. After becoming chilled, the turtle reemerges for one or two more cycles of basking and feeding. At night, this creature drops to the bottom of its water body or perches on an underwater object and sleeps. During the winter, this turtle hibernates. The painted turtle is the official reptile for four U.S. states, Vermont, Michigan, Illinois, and Colorado. In California, the painted turtle is a camp for ill children founded by Paul Newman. Everyone loves the painted turtle, every single human. The loggerhead sea turtle. This oceanic turtle is distributed throughout the world. It is found in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans, and as well as the Mediterranean Sea. The loggerhead sea turtle is the world's largest hard-shelled turtle. This creature spends most of its life in the open ocean and, sh and in shallow coastal waters. The loggerhead sea turtle appears on the $1,000 Colombian peso coin. It is the official state reptile in the U.S. for the state of South Carolina and the state saltwater reptile for Florida. The loggerhead sea turtle is such a beautiful creature. In God's, in God's stupendous cosmic drama, it sure knows the formula. The American Alligator This creature is native to the southeastern United States and northeastern Mexico. They are large, from 11 to 15 feet in length. The American alligator inhabits freshwater wetlands such as marshes and cypress swamps from Tamaulipas in Mexico to extreme southeastern Virginia in the U.S. This creature is an apex predator at the top of the food chain. They bellow to declare territory and locate suitable mates. They use infrasound, infrasound low-frequency sound, to attract females. Young American alligators are protected by their mother for up to one year. It is the official reptile for three U.S. states, Florida, Louisiana, and Mississippi. This alligator has 74 to 80 teeth. They have the strongest laboratory bite of any living animal. The muscles opening their jaw are quite weak, and the jaws can be held closed by hand or tape when this creature is captured. They can walk on land and swim in the water like fish. They inhabit swamps, streams, rivers, ponds, and lakes. Since the late 1880s, alligator wrestling has been a source of entertainment created by the, the Mikosuke and Seminole Indians. The tradition is criticized by animal rights activists. Gators, ha Gators has been the nickname of the University of Florida sports team since 1911. What an impressive reptile! Fit perhaps more in hell than in he rather than in heaven. The spiny softshell turtle. This creature is one of the largest freshwater turtles in North America. It has spiny cone-like projections on its upper shell. The spiny softshell turtle has webbed feet, each with three claws. It also has a fleshy, elongated nose. This reptile lives in Canada, the United States, and Mexico. It lives in ponds, lakes, rivers, and streams. They prefer waters with sandy bottoms. This creature was first described by Charles Alexander Lesueur in 1827. They spend most of their day basking in the sun and foraging for food. 
If disturbed, they will quickly ret- retreat into the water and bury themselves in sand, leaving only, only their heads visible. What a fascinating reptile! Seeing one would raise one's spirits, leaving an individual anything but miserable. The green, the green anowl. This reptile is a tree-dwelling lizard that lives in the U.S. and islands of the Pacific Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. It can change its color from brown to green. It is sometimes called the American chameleon. This creature's toes have adhesive pads to facilitate climbing. The male green anal is highly territorial. Some have even been witnessed fighting their own reflections in mirrored glass. They are popular pets, however, they are not very social. They enjoy basking in the sun. This reptile drinks by lapping water droplets off of leaves. What an endearing reptile! The green anal, our heart thieves. The Burmese python. This reptile is one of the largest snakes and it lives in Southeast Asia. In the wild, they typically grow to 5 meters or 16 feet in length. The Burmese python is often found near marshes and swamps and is sometimes semi-aquatic and can also be found in trees. It is an excellent swimmer and needs a permanent source of water. This snake grabs a prey animal with its sharp teeth, then wraps its body around the animal to kill it through constriction. The python then swallows its prey whole. Burmese pythons are often sold as pets and are popular due to their attractive coloration and easygoing nature. The Burmese python. What a fascinating creature. The timber rattlesnake. This venomous reptile lives in eastern North America. It is the state reptile for West Virginia. This snake became a prominent symbol of American anger and resolve during the American Revolution due due to its fearsome reputation. The timber rattlesnake became famous in the yellow Gadsden flag during the Revolution with the words, Don't tread on me. The venom, which is primarily used to immobilize prey, can be fatal to humans if the bite is untreated. If you encounter a timber rattlesnake, do not panic. Keep a safe distance of six feet or more away. Let them move along on their own. The timber rattlesnake is also a creature of God. Let's enjoy them from a distance and leave them alone. The Gila Monster This reptile is a venomous lizard native to the southwestern United States and the northwestern Mexican state of Sonora. It is heavy, slow-moving, and grows to be two feet long. The Gila monster is sluggish, not generally dangerous, and rarely a real threat to humans. The name Gila refers to the Gila River Basin in the U.S. states of Arizona and New Mexico, where the Gila monster was once plentiful. They spend 90% of their time underground in burrows or rocky shelters. It is claimed that three or four extensive meals in the spring give them enough energy for a whole season. It is a myth that the Gila monster's breath is toxic enough to kill humans. This creature is the state reptile for the U.S. state of Utah. The Gila monster is another interesting creature of God and deserves our understanding and respect. This is the divine law. The Komodo dragon. This creature lives in the Indonesian islands of Komodo, Rinka, Flores, and Hili Motang. It is the largest lizard in the world, growing to 10 feet long and weighing 150 pounds. As a result of their size, Komodo dragons are at the top of the food chain and dominate the ecosystems in which they live. They occasionally attack humans. Their large size and fearsome reputations, reputation make them popular zoo exhibits. Its saliva is frequently blood-tinged, and it has a long, yellow, deeply forked tongue. This creature can knock down large pigs and deer with their strong tails. Dominant males compete for females in ritual combat. Using their tails for support, they wrestle in upright postures, grabbing each other with their forelegs as they attempt to throw the opponent onto the ground. Blood is often drawn, and the loser either runs away or remains prone and motionless. 
The muscles of this reptile's jaws and throat allow it to swallow huge chunks of meat with astonishing rapidity. The stomach expands easily, enabling an adult to consume 80% of its own body weight in a single meal. When threatened, comodos can throw up the contents of their stomachs to lessen their weight in order to flee. Wow! What an incredible creature! Golly gee! The Nile Crocodile This reptile lives in freshwater habitats in Africa in 26 countries. In sub-Saharan Africa, it lives in lakes, rivers, swamps, and marshlands. On average, the Nile crocodile is 12 to 16 feet in length and weighs from 500 to 1,600 pounds. It is the largest freshwater predator in Africa. They are at the top of the food chain, very aggressive and capable of taking almost any animal within their range. This creature has a powerful bite and grip that is almost impossible to loosen. Nile crocodiles are social. They share basking spots and large food sources such as schools of fish and big carcasses. The Nile crocodile is dangerous and kills hundreds of human beings every year. The ancient Greek Herodotus claimed that Nile crocodiles have a symbiotic relationship with certain birds, such as the Egyptian plover, which enters the crocodile's mouth and picks leeches feeding on the crocodile's blood. We must keep our distance from the Nile crocodile, especially if we see two eyes staring at us from out of the mud. The common garter snake. This reptile lives in North America and lives widely across the continent. Most garter snakes have a pattern of yellow stripes on a black, brown, or green background. This creature is the state reptile for the U.S. state of Massachusetts. Garter snakes are thin. In warm areas, they are active year-round. Otherwise, they sleep in common dens, sometimes in great numbers. It is found as far south as the southernmost tip of Florida and as far north as the Northwest Territories in Canada. Often kept as pets, they are relatively harmless. Their stripes resemble garters, men used to wear to hold up socks. How wonderful is the great outdoors! One might even see a garter snake basking by some rocks. The American Crocodile This reptile is found in Florida, USA and Latin America. The American Crocodile has four short, stocky legs, a long, powerful tail, and a scaly hide. Its snout is elongated and includes a strong pair of jaws. The nostrils, eyes, and ears are situated on top of its head so the rest of the body can be concealed under water for surprise attacks. This creature normally crawls on its belly, but it can also high walk. They can run at 10 miles an hour and swim at 20 miles an hour. At the end of the 19th century, hunting them for their leather became a cottage industry in South Florida. The American crocodile lives in brackish or saltwater areas and can be found in ponds, coves, and mangrove swamps, and creeks. A man in the Everglades in Florida. An American crocodile. He shrieks. The common leopard gecko. This reptile lives in the rocky, dry grassland and desert regions of Afghanistan, Iran, Pakistan, India, and Nepal in Asia. The common leopard gecko has become a popular pet and is considered the first domesticated lizard. They are small, an average of 8 inches in length. This creature can regenerate a lost tail. They are robust, easy to care for, and a good beginner reptile pet. This reptile is easy to handle, has a perky personality, and makes movements that are interesting to watch. The common leopard gecko is hardy and docile and needs a warm hiding area and a cooler hiding area. What a fine creature! A wonderful antidote to modern-day hysteria. The Garial, also known as the fish-eating crocodile, this reptile is among the longest of all crocodiles, reaching a length of 19 feet. The end of their snouts resembles an earthenware pot known as a gara, hence the name Garial. The Garial is well adapted to catching fish because of its long, thin snout and 110 interlocking teeth. 
This creature lives in rivers in the northern part of the Indian subcontinent. Local people attribute mystical and healing powers to the Garyal. The Garyal once thrived in the major river systems of the Indus, Ganges, Brahmaputra, and Irrawaddy in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Myanmar. This creature is very aquatic, aquatic, leaving the, the water only for basking by riverbanks. Gariels are kept in zoos all over the United States, including Bush Gardens, Tampa, the Honolulu Zoo, San Diego Zoo, St. Augustine Alligator Farm, Zoological Park, and the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo. What a fascinating creature! However, let's keep our distance. If them we run into... The boa constrictor. This large reptile is frequently kept and bred in captivity. It is native to South America and the Caribbean. In captivity, they are fed mice, rabbits, chickens, and chicks. Life expectancy is 20 to 30 years. Boa constrictors are powerful, stealthy hunters. They ambush their prey, which they swallow whole. After a large meal, this creature doesn't need to eat for weeks. Mother boas give birth to about 60 babies at a time. The baby boa is on its own from birth. It has a built-in knowledge of how to hide, to stay safe from predators, and how to hunt. Not everyone would want a boa constrictor as a pet. Let's be blunt. The green iguana. This reptile lives in South America, Central America, Mexico, the U.S., and the Caribbean. In Puerto, in Puerto Rico, it is called Galena de, de Palo, bamboo chicken or chicken of the trees. It is a plant eater and grows to be about five feet long. The green iguana is a popular pet due to its calm disposition and bright colors. Agile climbers, this reptile can fall up to 50 feet and land unhurt. When swimming, the green iguana remains submerged, letting its legs hang limp against its sides while propelling through the water with powerful tail strokes. When threatened, this creature hisses and bobs its head at the aggressor. The green iguana has been a food source in Central and South America for 7,000 years. The Mochi people of ancient Peru worshipped animals and often depicted green iguanas in their art. What a fascinating creature. In ranking the greatest reptiles, the green iguana would be a fine place to start. The Hawksbill Sea Turtle. This reptile is distributed all over the world. Its flipper-like limbs are adapted for swimming in the open ocean. The Hawksbill Sea Turtle is distinguished from other sea turtles by its sharp, curving beak. This creature lives part of its life in the open ocean, but mostly dwells in shallow lagoons and coral reefs. The heaviest hawksbill ever captured weighed 280 pounds. It lives in the Indian Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. Sea sponges are their principal food. Like other sea turtles, hawksbills are solitary for most of their lives. They meet only to mate. The ancient Greeks and Romans used their shells for jewelry, such as combs, brushes, and rings. This creature appears in the currency of Venezuela and Brazil. A much-beloved fountain sculpture of a boy riding a hawk's bill, affectionately known as Turtle Boy, stands in Worcester, Massachusetts, USA. Considered by many to be the most beautiful of sea turtles because of their colorful shells, the hawksbill is found in warm tropical waters around the earth. How many, many wonderful qualities this creature has. Certainly not a dearth. The common box turtle. This creature is found throughout the eastern United States and Mexico. It has a distinctive lowered shell that allows it to completely enclose itself. It then resembles an impregnable box. The common sea turtle the common box turtle inhabits woodlands, roadsides, marshy meadows, flood plains, scrub forests, and brushy grasslands. If this reptile becomes too hot, it smears saliva over its legs and head. As the saliva evaporates, it leaves them comfortably cooler. The common box turtle is the official state reptile for four U.S. states, North Carolina, Tennessee, Missouri, and Kansas. 
The North Carolina Secretary of State remarked, The turtle watches undisturbed as countless generations of faster hares or rabbits run by to quick oblivion and is thus a model of patience for mankind and a symbol for the pursuit of great and lofty goals. In in Virginia, efforts to honor the common box turtle failed because a politician characterized this creature as being cowardly because of its shell. This is so disrespectful of this fine reptile. Golly, what the hell? The Copperhead This reptile is a venomous snake that lives in eastern North America. The body is relatively stout and the head is broad and distinct from the neck. This creature is often associated with rock outcroppings and ledges, but is also found in low-lying swampy regions. During the winter, it hibernates in dens or limestone crevices, often together with timber rattlesnakes. They get their name from copper red heads. Copperheads bite more people than any other snake in the United States. Fortunately, their venom is not very potent. Hikers often mistakenly step on them because they are not easy to see and freeze rather than slither away when approached. Don't worry, the copperhead is our friend, not our opponent. The Eastern Fence Lizard This reptile is found along forest edges, rock piles, and rotting logs or stumps in the eastern United States. Within the last 70 years, the eastern fence lizard has adapted to have longer legs and new behaviors to escape the red imported fire ant, which can kill this lizard in under a minute. Male fence lizards often do push-ups to attract females. As a member of the spiny lizard family, this creature is the only lizard native to the U.S. states of Georgia and South Carolina that has rough scales. Although sometimes found in the ground, this reptile is very much tree-dwelling and usually dash for the nearest tree when approached. When pursued, the fence lizard will stay on the opposite side of a tree in in the same fashion as a squirrel. What a wonderful creature. For those who enjoy them, the love for the eastern eastern fence lizard is eternal. The alligator snapping turtle. This creature is native to the freshwater habitats in the United States. It is one of the heaviest freshwater turtles in the world. This reptile has immensely powerful jaws and distinct ridges on its shell that are similar in appearance to the rough ridge skin of an alligator. Its primitive appearance is reminiscent of the plated dinosaurs. They are almost exclusively aquatic and tend to stay submerged and motionless for so long that algae begins to grow on their shells. Their specially adapted tongue allows them to catch prey with little work. A lure-like projection of the tongue attracts curious fish that swim right into the turtle's mouth. To attract an unsuspecting victim, this turtle will lay on the bottom of the riverbed and open his jaws to reveal what looks like a delicious, bright, red, wiggling worm, luring prey by fiendishly twitching this appendage back and forth. (coughs) A fish that gets duped by the turtle's tongue will swim right into the range of the hungry alligator snapping turtle's jaws. How terrible! On the other hand, maybe the best we can do is to give this reptile our applause. The gopher tardis. This creature is native to the southeastern United States. It is a keystone species because it digs burrows that provide shelter for at least 360 other animal species. The gopher tortoise is the state reptile of Georgia and the state tortoise of Florida. As gopher tortoises usually get water from the food they eat, they usually only drink standing water in times of extreme drought. This reptile spends most of its time in long burrows up to 48 feet in length and 10 feet deep. In these burrows, the tortoises are protected from summer heat, winter cold, fire, and predators. Gopher tortoises can live up to 80 years in the wild and more than 100 years in captivity. What a joy it is to see a gopher tortoise. What an enjoyable activity. The Diamondback Terrapin. This creature is a turtle which is native to the brackish coastal tidal marshes of the eastern and southern United States and in Bermuda. Terrapins are strong swimmers. They have strongly webbed feet, but not flippers, as do sea turtles. 
This creature has strong jaws for crushing shells of prey, such as clams and snails. In Maryland, diamondback terrapins were so plentiful in the 18th century that African-American slaves protested the excessive use of this food as their main protein source. Late in the 19th century, demand for turtle soup claimed a harvest of 89,000 pounds from Chesapeake Bay in one year. In 1899, terrapin was offered on the dinner menu of Delmonico's restaurant in New York City as the third most expensive item on an already expensive menu. On July 8, 2009, flights at John F. Kennedy Airport in New York were delayed for up to one and a half hours as 78 diamondback terrapins had invaded one of the runways. Maryland named this creature the official state reptile in 1991. The University of Maryland sports teams have been called the Terrapins since 1933. The Terrapin has also been a symbol of the Grateful Dead music group because of their song Terrapin Station. Many images of the Terrapin dancing with a tambourine appear on posters, t-shirts, and other memorabilia for the Grateful Dead. We really should not eat this wonderful creature. Let's enjoy the sight of a diamondback Terrapin instead. The Sand Lizard this creature lives in Europe, the, Eur- the Eurasian landmass from Europe to China. The, land l- the sand lizard basks on rocks in the day, and at night they go into their holes underground. What a fine reptile for the nature lover just waiting to be found. The Horned Toad. This reptile has a flattened, rounded body and blunt snout. The horned toad tends to move sluggishly, often remain motionless, and rely on its remarkable camouflage to avoid detection by predators. The horned toad lives in western North America, in Canada, the U.S., and Central America. They are adapted to dry environments. When faced with a predator, they puff up their bodies to cause them to appear more horned and larger, so that they are more difficult to swallow. They can squirt an aimed stream of blood from the corners of their eyes for a distance of five feet. The horned toad is the official state reptile for Wyoming and Texas. At Texas Christian University in Fort Worth, Texas, the sports teams are called the TCU Horned Frogs. Horned toads are wonderful creatures, almost as nice as a family's beloved dogs. Well, that concludes today's presentation. Hope you get a chance to enjoy nature, all the wonderful creatures there are. Uh, you might consider checking out our website, Adventures in History with Peter J. Ray at peterjray.com. So far, we've made 711 history videos in seven areas, world history, American history, book reviews, poetic tours, Cleveland baseball, family history, and autobiography. There's a donate feature. You might consider making a donation if you're interested uh, in supporting this work. And the website is, 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 uh, is peterjray.com. If you live in Metro Manila, Philippines and are looking for a high school, you might consider Restless Educational Center. Restless is located on Wilson Street in San Juan, Metro Manila, Philippines. At Restless, we specialize in helping young people who have a difficulty in the larger traditional high schools. We're more than a school. We are a warm, supportive community, and we strive to be creative and innovative. And the website is restless.education. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. God bless you. Take care, and I'll see you next time.